What's up, Tiger fans? It's the Morgan Thomas Show back at you again with another video for Clemson softball as they get ready to host the North Carolina Tar Heels this weekend, April 1st through the 3rd at McWhorter Stadium in Clemson, South Carolina. Hey, before we get into this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date to all the Clemson exclusive content that we put out on YouTube. That's right, Clemson football baseball, basketball, and as you can see right now, even Clemson softball. So we show the Clemson Athletics all the love here. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, all right. So Houston, let's get started. Again, Clemson softball hosting the North Carolina Tar Heels. The Tigers scheduled to return home to host North Carolina, who is now 10-8 and eight overall, 6-3 and three in the ACC. Now that's kind of deceiving because – um, the Tar Heels, it, they haven't played in the last two weeks because of COVID protocols and issues there with their team. They didn't play against Florida State. They didn't play against Georgia Tech. And so, you know, they're a little bit rusty, I think you can say. Clemson coming off a big-time split series, 1-2, lost two against number 11, Duke. Uh, they're currently 22-4. and 22-4, and four, that's really good, man. 14 and 0 or 14 and 4 in the ACC and 20 ranked 23rd at d1softball.com. Um so obviously we we always talk about Valerie Cagle, Marissa Gumbarda. Um is there anybody else you're looking forward to seeing this weekend kind of shine or are just those two mainstays uh what Clemson needs to get the wins? Always pay attention to Ansley Gilstrap. Her story has been incredible. Um, I'm always cheering for her. I want her to do well, but really this entire team is fun to watch. Um, their team kind of gives off an old school, uh, late nineties, early two thousands, Jack Leggett coach team vibe where, uh, they get the hits when they need to, but they can also hit a, a ton of homers. They get a lot of strikeouts. They're fun to watch. And if this North Carolina team hasn't played in two weeks, buddy, they're walking into the wrong team to start out with. Remember how we talked about how Clemson played Virginia in basketball after a two week COVID pause. That was a terrible matchup. I think this could be very much the same. Now, North Carolina's got some players. Um, I think they've got a really good hitter and a really good pitcher. But you haven't pitched or hit for two weeks, and you're walking into a team that is red hot right now. Um, then uh, it's not not a good not a good start. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be tough. Uh, hopefully, North Carolina, we're going to say hopefully, North Carolina has the Clemson basketball post-COVID results where they just get dominated. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. I want to see Clemson softball dominate them. I will go ahead and tell you that, uh, obviously, um, I like Morgan Johnson, you know, uh, for for obvious reasons. I mean, Mor Morgan's got to support the other Morgans in the world, right? Mm. Um, <laughs> also, I got to say, Mackenzie Clark batting three thirty three. 15 steals right now, second in the ACC there. So I look forward to see what she can do. But again, um, it's the the Kegel machine. You know, she is amazing, batting 346, seven home runs, and Gumbarda as well, seven home runs, both tied for fifth in the ACC. Um, but not only that, man, um, John Rittman came, went on to uh, Packer and Durham and recently talked about how Valerie Cagle picked the number 72. Do you know the reason why he picked number 70? She picked number 72? No idea. And she, it was a very weird number, but if you go watch Pecker and Durham in the morning, she said she picked number 72 because that's the number she wanted to hit on the radar for uh, her pitches. Well, he said now uh, she's already been hitting that plenty of times this season, but pretty amazing. She's an amazing pitcher. Uh, got, I think, 101 strikeouts third overall in the ACC. So uh, amazing results there for her. But I did want to say, you know, if you want to look at what they're, what is coming in to Clemson to, and who they are facing for the Tar Heels on the Tar Heel side, you got to look at Christina Burkhart. She's not a big power hitter, but she's batting 400 and has a ton of base hits and uh, doubles there. Also, I will say uh, Brittany Pickett. She is pitching right now, earn run average of 1.19. And she's also a strikeout machine, just like Valerie Cagle. Valerie, again, like I said, 101 for strikeouts. Brittany Pickett right now, 104 for strikeouts. So they definitely have an ace there on the mound for the Tar Heels. Uh, and they have a good, solid base hitter in Christina Burkhart. How will Clemson attack that? We'll have to see this weekend. But I think... Uh, like Houston said, energy has to go to the Tigers coming off a great split series against Duke. But also, we know 
they have three or four ladies that can just blast the ball. And uh, also when they get on base, uh, take advantage of any kind of weaknesses that you have. So I look forward to the series. want to see Clemson go and, and sweep against the Tar Heels. Let us know what you think about this video. Hey, if you like Clemson softball, let us know in the comments and uh, tell us what you think. How will Clemson do against the North Carolina Tar Heels this weekend? If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put Clemson content that is all football, basketball, baseball, softball, all things we can do every single week. So you don't miss. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hey, Clemson fans, if you're looking for a great place to eat, you have to check out Charleston Sports Pub. Listen to the reviews. Great food, great atmosphere, great customer service. Try their burgers every Monday, half price, dine-in, takeout, or delivery, 359 College Avenue, Clemson, South Carolina, or one of their other great locations in downtown Greenville, James Island, Mount Pleasant, Somerville, West Ashley, or Goose, Goose Creek. Upstate or low country, there isn't a reason for you to not try the Charleston Sports Pub, let them know, tell Perry, the owner, that the crew sent you from the Morgan Thomas Show.